I wanted to be okay and, and safe. That's all I was thinking about the whole time. And when I was in the water resting afterwards, that's just, that's all I thought about. He helped save two lives, but yet wonders what could have been. Good evening, I'm Erin Kiernan. Thanks for being with us. Jason McClendon was in the right place at the right time, but just a few minutes too late. We've learned that the 14 year old he pulled to the surface of Moffett Reservoir was transported to the hospital, but has since died. Two others were saved though. WHO 13 Zach Fisher spoke with McClendon. Zach joins us now live. Yeah, Aaron, a, a very sad situation that played out yesterday. Jason and his wife were heading home from helping a church friend with some uh, plumbing issues they've been having. Then they started driving uh, eastbound here uh, across the dam. Uh, and that's when they noticed a, a woman out in the middle of the road with a fishing pole, uh, which they thought was odd. They continued on their way just a little down the road. A man and their son they saw motioning them to come and help holding a rope in hand. So McClendon's, they turn around uh, to see a woman panicking and then a man and a boy bobbing up and down in the lake. Pointing at the water and I looked and there's a, a man and his boy in the water out about 10 feet and they're going under. And I'm thinking right away, okay, having been a former lifeguard, got to get in there, got to get him out. So got my shoes, wallet, and my glasses off and jumped in the water, um, got over to them and pulled them up out because they were going under. So McClendon is sitting on the water's edge with the man and the boy he just rescued, thinking that the effort was over when the mother was still yelling frantically. Now the family speaking Spanish, uh, so it took a second to uh, understand what she was saying. Now one of the family's younger daughters told Jason that there was a girl under the water out even further. So Jason grabs the rope again. Uh, now he, he walks me through his mindset today of risking his own life again for another and what was his reaction we had, when he had located the girl submerged? First responders told us there was a water rescue on the way, and I thought to myself, that's, there's no time. Um, every second counts when someone's underwater. So I, I just let my body tell myself, okay, we're ready to go. And then it was just back into finding her. I wasn't gonna come out of the water without finding her. I knew it was her, because it, the whole bottom of the water was green. It was out of place. and. Uh, I just had it in my mind, get up or go down and get up as fast as you can and then head to shore, get her on her back and just, it was, again, it was another automatic mode. So, and hold on to the rope. Yeah, that's how he described it. His wife just told him go and he did. Uh, that rope still is actually tied over there with the barrier. And I just want to be clear too, the McClendons reached out not to be on camera. They were reaching out trying to see what the condition of the girl was that they had pulled from the water. They were very, very concerned, and we had chatted this afternoon before we had learned that the 14-year-old had passed. And now, uh, McClendon just wants to share uh, that people, uh, there's good people out here in the world. Uh, you know, it just takes one person to step in and act. Uh, so even though it is a sad story, it serves as a good reminder, too, that uh, somebody like McClendon is truly a hero, Eric. Absolutely. Everyone's capable of making a difference. Thanks so much, Zach. Mm -hmm.